Hello, welcome to video seven of Check Life Process Alchemy. Now we're gonna talk about air. What's in the air today? Ha, huh. the air element. As I said in our discussion of fire, air in my system relates to Dr. Happy because what is happiness? It's a state of mind. Air is a vibration. It relates to prana, which is a life force energy, but it also relates to the frequency that our mind operates at. So vibrationally, air is one step down from fire. Air relates to mind, but it also relates to air. Now let's look at some metaphors for air. Can you breathe in relationship to yourself? Do you feel suffocated in your work or in your relationship with your partner or even in your parental or family relationship? So air, as I said, alchemy is about al uh, metaphor. It's about allegory. You got to look at life from all sides because life is quite mysterious. Air is also the element of air. You wouldn't believe the number of problems that are caused by people just not knowing how to breathe right. So we might find in your training that you're not breathing right. And we might have to practice breathing right there in the room. So we want to think about air. How does air affect fire? It makes it hotter. Lack of air, the fire goes out. Okay, so if you're suffocating in a relationship, then the desire to be in the relationship goes down and the relationship goes cold. It gets down here in the winter zone. Cold, okay? If you have a lot of air, it can erode the earth, which is your body and it is the home. The earth symbol is the square. It represents the home, the business, the gym, the dojo, the place of work, anything with structure. So when we're looking at the air element, we're looking at the rhythm, the pressure, the flow of our life. How is it affecting the fire? What's the temperature? And how is that energy of air, fire, water, and earth creating energy potential within our life? So air again is the thinking process, which is part of our expression of our innate creativity, where this is intuition, this is thinking. Now, this can also be intuition down here. Now, what happens if you don't have air and water? The fish die. So we have to think about, if we don't have enough air, Dr. Happiness, joy in our water, then our emotions get soggy and bog us down. So air is the conscious creation of our dreams and choosing what we're gonna do to lighten up. We fly, our wings fly in air. The bird uses air to fly. So if we're not conscious of how we're managing the air and the fire, and if we're using the air of mind, our choices, to invigorate the fire of our actions, then we will not have balanced emotions in the water element, and it will disrupt our home, our workplace, or our body, or our relationships. So my question for you is, where are you too airy or not enough? We know what the term airhead means. It's someone that's all over the place and can't get anything done. That's excessive air. And someone that's depressed lacks air. So they're suffocating. So think about where am I too heady? If you're not sure, ask your brothers, your sisters, or your partner. And where am I not participating because I'm not using my mind effectively, which usually means I either have a fire problem or I have a home problem because fire needs something to burn. Or it means I'm not clear on what it is I'm willing to do to create my dreams. These are just little samples of what I can teach you much more deeply. But I think as you go here, you're going to see these elements are really real in our lives. So I look forward to sharing with you more. We'll come back and we'll talk about the water element, the home of our emotions.